guys, I'm going to show you how to create your quarantine den diagrams using Google Drawing. You see here that I have a blank Google Drawing. It's this uh, blank sheet, and there's a bunch of uh, you know little checkered pattern all over. Um, the other thing you want to have open is your budget list. Not my budget list, but your copy of your budget list. The reason being is that you need to see the budget list in order to put the right amount of items in your quarantine den. So if I look at my budget list, the first thing that I've listed here and something that's pretty easy to put into my quarantine den is my 60 inch TV. Okay, And I only have one of them, so I'm going to put my 60 inch TV into my drawing. now. Remember, a diagram here, what we're looking for is a bird's eye view of the room, meaning we're not looking at it straight on. It's as if we're on the ceiling or on the roof of our building and looking down at everything. Also, guys, it's not a detailed drawing. This is more like a map, all right? We just want to see what's in the den and where everything kind of is laid out in the room. So in order to insert my TV, I'm going to go to this insert button here. For each thing you do, you're going to go to insert, and we're going to insert a shape. So if you go down, three down is shape. Under shapes, I have a rectangle that I'm going to use for my TV. Now I have a crosshair, and I can kind of take that wherever the crosshair goes is where my shape is going to go. I want my TV on this wall here, so I'm going to go ahead and drag my TV to about right here. Why did I make it so skinny? Well, once again, it's as if we're looking down on the object. Now, what I just did was change the color. All right? If I go back, you'll see that it starts off with this light blue tint to it. In order to change the color, you look up here, and you'll see there's actually a paint can button, and that's called the fill color. If I click on that, it'll change it to whatever color I choose. Now, you also have some other options here if you click on gradient. And those give it this kind of cool texture. So I'm actually going to do a gradient color for my television. Okay. Now, at this point, it looks like we just have a steel bar. I don't want to have just a steel bar. I want to be able to know that whoever's looking at my diagram understands that that's a TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to insert a text box. A text box allows me to write and now label my drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and I have the crosshair again. I'm going to drag my crosshair like that. And now I can type in TV. Okay. My box is a little bit bigger than what I need. So I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to move it over to the center. Okay. Now if you try to move it and your thing does this, it's going to make it big. So if you only have two arrows, that means you can adjust the size of your text box. If you have four arrows like this, that means you can move your text box. So if I want to move it, I got my four arrows. And let's move it. I want to move it some more up over here. That's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to add my pool table. And I have one of those. And let's add that to my drawing. I want my pool table to be sort of near the TV, but not so close to it that I hit the TV with my pool cue while I'm playing. So I go to insert, I go to shape, shapes, and pool table. I'm going to insert this rounded rectangle shape for my pool table. And let's put our pool table over here. There we go. Now I realize that my pool table is a little too close to the wall on this side. That's not a problem. I can go ahead and drag that up to Let's put it right here, pool table. Okay. Now I want to change the color, so I go back to the paint can. And I want my pool table to be a nice green color. There we go, that looks nice. Now if I click off of it, my pool table is there. I'm going to insert a text box. And I'm actually going to put my text right on the pool table to label it. Pool table. I click off, click off again. And there I go. I have my pool table labeled and I have my TV labeled. All right. Now I'm going to stop there. You guys will continue to do that for each item. Like couch, I have two couches, so I'm going to insert two of those. 
Um, but I'm going to stop there because I think you guys get the idea. So remember, when you want to insert a shape, you go to Insert, Shape, and there's a lot of shapes that you guys can choose from. Okay? To change the color of a, sh of a shape, make sure that the shape is highlighted there. You go to this paint can right here, and you can choose either a solid color or a gradient color. Okay? To get the text boxes, you go to Insert, Text Box, and you'll be able to type in a text box. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing your quarantine den diagrams.